Welcome to Villanova Film Room, breaking down Jay Wright's four out, one in motion offense, as well as some of his sets. I am Coach Gibson Piper. If you have any questions during this breakdown, you can hit me up on Twitter at Half Court Hoops or drop a comment below. The first thing that I'm going to cover on Villanova's four out, one in motion offense is the spacing. Obviously, there's four players in the perimeter and one player in the post. The post can be either in the short corner, also called the dunker spot or the porch, or they can be in the post posting up. The four perimeter players are spaced out, typically 18 feet apart. The players are either in the slot or the wing. The slots are the two players up top. The wings are two players on the wings. The wings are block extended. One of the biggest things in Villanova's offense is moving the ball, moving people, and have great spacing. They are probably the best space team in college basketball. And that shows in their offense. The easy driving lanes, the easy driving kick, the great jump stops and a driving kick to a driving dish and being able to have all those options open off of that spacing and drive. And he talks about a quote he heard from Chuck Daly where offense is spacing and spacing is offense. And that's what they really try to do in their offense is allow and have that spacing throughout regardless of the situation. Two basic things really stood out to me about Villanova's offense when I heard Jay Wright give his clinic on this. He looks for post-ups and ball screens, always looking to score first. So in the post, if you catch it, you try to score. And he wants his guards to attack off the ball screen, get downhill, and always look to score first. Always. Also, he said you'll never be more open than when you first catch the ball. So he teaches his players, catch it, you're open, shoot it. If not, drive it. The shot selection may seem a little bit crazy at times when you watch them play, but that's because Jay Wright teaches them, if you're open, shoot it, and they'll be more open when you first catch it. The basic rules for the guards are pretty simple. You make a pass and you either basket cut or exchange away. If it's a slot to slot pass, you'll see the two guards exchange. If it's a slot to wing pass, you will see the player who passes from the slot to the wing basket cut. The basics for post players. Majority of the time, the big from the porch or the post will come out and set a slot ball screen. This can be random in Villanova's offense. There is no specific action that triggers this. If a guard or a post player feels like a slot ball screen can be set, the post can sprint out for a slot ball screen. Two things that I've taken from Jay Wright's four out one in motion offense is pump fakes and jump stops. We teach our kids that every day in practice. We teach them that it's the most important thing you can do in offense. And I personally believe that. And I think it shows in Jay Wright's offense, they're under control all the time. Their jump stops, their pivots, their pump fakes are amazing and very, very effective. One of the things they do well off of a jump stop is what Jay Wright calls second cut. He said against good teams, you need to have a second cut. So on a jump stop and a pivot, after your first relocation, you need to cut again. And you need to cut to space and recognize where the space is.
we're going to look at some of the ball screen action that Jay Wright has in his offense. The first and most common one is going to be the drag ball screen, which is a ball screen in transition for the guard before the defense can get set. Looking to get some early movement. Next ball screen we're going to look at is a flat ball screen in which the big has his shoulders square to half court facing the opposite basket, flat allowing the point guard to either go to the right or the left side. They typically set this type of ball screen when the point guard is receiving pressure defense above half court or even above the three point line to break that pressure and kind of allow the offense to flow more easily. My favorite ball screen action that Villanova runs is roll and replace. The big will set a high ball screen roll the rim. The opposite big, more often than not, was Chris Jenkins, who would then replace behind him. So if the big rolls to the right, the other big below has to go the same side he rolls to and rolls up. Uh, calling it, Some people call this shell breakdown ball screen. I think it's very effective and really hard to guard.
another area in Villanova's motion offense that they can set a ball screen is side or a side pick and roll. Sometimes they have a call for it. Sometimes it just happens naturally. More often than not, though, they are going to set this ball screen as a set or out of a call. The last ball screen we're going to look at is a slot ball screen. This can happen at any different time in Villanova's motion offense. The big can come up and set a slot ball screen for any four of the perimeter players. However, you see more often than not, the point guard passes the ball to the wing, cuts through, the guards fill up, and then the big sprints out to a slot ball screen for the opposite slot at that point. It is the most common ball screen set that they run and is very, very effective. And it's one of my favorites because the guard catches the ball and doesn't have a dribble. He doesn't have to use his dribble yet, so he can catch it without a dribble, jab one way or the other, and then look to attack. 